Hi, welcome to the Gaming Archive. I'm Tom and today we're going to show you how to connect up PlayStation 1 uh, to a modern TV, smart TV. It's not that difficult, but just in case, uh, it's better you have the, the know-how. So, if you're like me, when you received your first uh, PlayStation 1, you got, you got this gadget. And of course this is for plugging into the antenna socket in the back of the TV. Uh, let me just turn this down a bit. Mr. Andretti is trying to get, get in on the act here. Uh, so we've got the PlayStation 1 on and we're showing Andretti racing. Gives you a feel or gives you a taste for the PS1 if you haven't bought one or you're thinking about buying one. But when you get it, you get, this is the default. This is the what comes with a new one and uh, you still get them with the second hand ones but uh, connecting up to the antenna point on the TV is not a good idea you can in theory do it but then you have to use the TV to search for the signal sometimes it picks it up sometimes it doesn't but when you then disconnect your console from the TV most of the smart TVs uh, will then lose uh, the, the, what they've saved so which means that there's a possibility that you may have to re uh, tune the TV every time you want to play so that's that's an absolute no no so what we do is we get rid of that we don't need it uh, right so at the moment it's connected up with a scarred socket let me just grab one of these cables here uh, of plenty of cables because we've got plenty of consoles. So this is the normal console. Uh, this is the normal cable that you get. Fits in no problem into the back of the uh, PS1, PlayStation 1, and it's got AVs. And of course, most of the modern TVs don't take the AV. So what we do in that case is we look at. Uh, you can tell this is live because I haven't prepared anything. Um, what we do then is we can connect up um, the AV cables, the old AV cables, into a SCART. If you have a SCART socket on the back of the TV, perfect. So very simple to do. All it is is yellow, white and red. And pop it into the SCART socket on the back of the TV like this one. Of course, if you haven't, if you haven't got a SCART socket on the TV, then we've got another gadget. So that's this um, AV to SCART. That's one way of connecting up. So the next way is to connect up to an AV to HDMI connector. Simple little gadget, about four to five pound from Amazon or eBay. Again, connect up your AV cables and this one then you connect up uh, a HDMI cable once you connect up the HDMI cable straight into your TV no problem so that's it it's the original cable um, you don't have to do anything else it's very simple into the little AV adapter uh, HDMI comes out you're done you got yourself uh, PlayStation 1 on the smart TV or on a modern TV if, let me explain something here again, because uh, if we look at the back of this console, it's got two little outlets, uh, and whereas this one has the AVs as well. Well, this is the original PlayStation 1, and they upgraded a, a year or so later, and they've done away with the AVs, so it doesn't really matter which console you have. The same uh, connection applies, just ignore your AVs here. Same connection, pop it into SCART, or pop it into a, an AV uh, HDMI connector. Either way, that's two or three options to get you up and running. Now, if for whatever reason uh, you're, you have a SCART socket and the SCART socket is in use already, there's also a thing, a little gadget here called SCART to HDMI. So basically on this one you plug the SCART in 
and then you put the HDMI cable directly to the TV. So that's three options. And one more little thing. These are if if you're running out of HDMI ports on the back of the TV, this is a HDMI splitter. So uh, what you do is uh, this one goes to the TV, but you can plug in two different uh, consoles, say, uh, to the one port. And what that means is, as soon as you put on, it, you don't have to manually change it, even though you can. It has a button on it to change it. Uh, normally what happens is, as soon as you turn on one console, uh, that would be the signal going to the TV. If you turn it off and turn on the other console, then that will become the signal going through the TV. So, it's not rocket science. And if you have more than one or two consoles, you might want to consider getting one of these, which is, you can actually put in four or five consoles. You can put in five consoles, and with one cable then going from here, one HDMI going to the TV. Smart TV, modern TV, old TV, it doesn't matter. Uh, but you can actually have five consoles. And again, each, each when a console comes on, the buttons light up. So you can manually switch, or as with the little one, uh, you just make sure all the consoles are off, and then when you switch one on, it'll automatically be the signal going to the TV. Not rocket science, really easy to do, but you have to have these little gadgets. So, like I say, the, this SCART, SCART uh, to AV, four or five pound from Amazon, eBay, likewise, a little HDMI. Now the little HDMI cable needs a power, sorry, the little uh, AV adapter needs uh, a power supply. So for that, you get a cable that comes with it when you buy it, just plugs in, and then you, you need probably need one of these so you can put a USB in and get a power supply. So that's what we use to power up this one. Now, sometimes it'll work without and you get the low quality 720. What we always suggest is put the power supply in and then you're going to get the 10, 1020 or 1080. So what you do is slide the little button on the side up to 1080 so you can get a better quality on the HDMI. That's it, brilliant. So, I me, mean, I'm going to spend some time with Mr. Andretti here. Going to have a little bit of gaming. Because we're all set up, I might as well do a bit of gaming. Uh, and it's one of my favourite games, so that's why I actually popped it on here. Okay, brilliant. Uh, leave a comment if you've got something to say or I missed something. Otherwise, hopefully hit the like button, subscribe. We're doing all of these intro videos on how to connect up every type of console. And that includes... All the PlayStation models, Commodore, Nintendo 64, uh, <laughs> Dreamscape, Sega, Sega, everything you need. Just check our videos out. Brilliant. Uh, thanks very much for watching. See you on the next video. Bye-bye now.